I managed to hide it for like two years. I would say it was like two years into my using, um, a friend of mine went to a medical detox. And at that point, like I didn't really know how to stop. Like I wanted to stop, but I didn't know how. Our daughter could not stay sober. And um, she was supposed to be getting started on Vivitrol. And that requires 14 days sobriety in order for the medication to begin. And Lindsay could not stay sober the 14 days to get started. Growing up in Edgewood, like I grew up kind of sheltered. They really didn't know the word heroin. So I went to Falmouth Detox for the first time. And I really thought like if I could just get the drugs and alcohol out of my system, I would be fine. But I relapsed shortly after. We've actually filed Casey's Law twice. Initially when we filed our daughter, um, we were all living in Kenton County, so I could file there. But in uh, March of 2015, our daughter had a near fatal overdose and she was living in an apartment in Campbell County. And so um, last spring we had to file it there. I remember when I got the phone call that my mom um, had filed Casey Law and actually I had just been served papers by the court and um, I was really upset. Um, I felt like my parents had went behind my back um, and at that point I wasn't ready to stop. I didn't have any legal charges that you know were going to force me into treatment so from that point I was um, arrested. I was put in Campbell County Jail. Um, I sat for 30 days until I got the bed here at Brighton Recovery Center and um, I don't know when I sat in jail like it gave me time to think about everything about my daughter about my life. In my opinion, Casey's Law has helped save Lindsay's life. Um, without it, Lindsay would tell you that she would not be in treatment. Um, she was not facing any type of criminal charges. There was no accountability on her part. And so Casey's Law allowed us to require her to get the long-term treatment that she needed. I came here on November 24th, and um, today I thank my parents for saving my life. I guess it's kind of like that tough love, you know, you really don't understand it while you're in the middle of your addiction, but once the drugs and alcohol are removed and you start to sober up, you'll realize that they're just doing it for your best interest, you know. I know my mom and dad didn't want to bury me, and that was what was getting ready to happen, so.